Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and today's Digibyte update is going to be a really quick one. Uh, as you can see, I'm already in my bike gear away, uh, ready to go into the office uh, for my day job. So, I wanted to quickly talk to you specifically about the BIC32 uh, push that we're going to be doing. Not a lot of blockchains have specifically gone and tried to like really, really push the, the BIC32 address format. Uh, you might be asking, what is BIC32? Well, basically, most Digibyte addresses, the legacy ones, start with a capital D. But BIC32 is a new address format that specifically starts with the lowercase DGB1. Now, this is really good because, obviously, Dogecoin also starts with a capital D, along with a few others. So, this removes a whole lot of uh, ambiguity and other things specifically around there. There's error correction, uh, checking, sorry, in the address format as well. So a bunch of other nice little things to have. It's just a bit of extra work to go through and make it the default, as well as finalizing support in the mobile apps. So I've been having a bit of a chat with Noah and Yoshi and uh, some of the other developers specifically around what's involved in that, and they've actually been uh, already working on this now. Um, it's something that we're looking to push out, hopefully in a near update. So keep an eye on this space, and uh, I'll talk to you soon about some of the other updates that we've been looking at as well, specifically for the mobile applications, but I just wanted to give you a bit of an insight um, on, on what it is that they've been doing specifically over the last day or two. This is one of the things that we're really looking to focus, and we want Digibyte to be one of the one of the first blockchains that will really push this BIC32 address format in a, in a more uh, default way, I suppose, uh, rather than most at the moment who are simply, you know, we've got it, but you don't really have to use it. Uh, because it's SIGWIT address, it's also going to be more efficient for your fees and things too. So, I mean, that's always a nice bonus as well. So... Uh, if you've got any questions though about the BIC32 address format, feel free to ask below. Uh, some of our other wallet partners also have it as well. We've got support uh, by default in the core wallet. Um, but yeah, so this has been a really quick update. I'm off to work now. First sunny day in a while, so jumping on the motorbike, and uh, I'll talk to you in the next video. Cheers!